constitution of the Republic of Uganda as at uh, 30th of September 2020. Uganda has become the 13th country to own a Braille constitution. The landmark milestone was launched today in Kuala District during the national celebration for the International Day of Persons with a Disability. We are all upon to reflect and commit to meaningful involvement of persons with disabilities in all aspects of development in our spheres. This is the only way we shall achieve both our national and global inclusive development targets and a vision 2040 and sustainable development goals. The UN Human Rights in a bid to promote the protection of rights of persons with disabilities, three other instruments were also launched. The vice president played to support the operationalization of the revised national policy on persons with disabilities. The disability fraternity today, I must congratulate you for these legal tools that we have just launched in a very colorful way. First, the revised national policy of persons with disability. Second, the audiovisual version of the Persons with Disability Act. And third, the Braille version of the 1995 Uganda Constitution. And fourth, a comprehensive report on albinism situation in Uganda. <laughs> According to the 2014 population census, 12.4% of the total population in Uganda are persons with disabilities. Hundreds of children cannot access education, health and other public services because of their disabilities. Special needs schools are very few and the private ones are in most instances expensive. The health care services for persons with disability are limited and many times persons with disability are regrettably still viewed as burdens. Whatever the reason, We've got to do better. That we have launched a number of tools, and most, most of them are in accessible formats. The Braille Constitution has been for the blind. We have the Act for the deaf. And the, these laws are going to help us to fight for our rights. And of course, we have also given out 45 million to the nine groups in Nikole. But Gender Minister Beta Moin says the ministry is set to train sign language interpreters who will help the healthy ones handle issues of persons with disabilities at village levels. While the, this category are unfortunate, we can prevent. So please take children for immunization because there are those disabilities that are brought by lack of immunization. The chairperson National Council for Persons with Disability, Yonna Waswa, says they have made several strides but currently underfunded to carry out its mandate effectively. As a council, we, we recommend that the budget for the council is increased at least to 3 billion Uganda shillings. The chairperson parliamentary committee on equal opportunities, Judith Aliek, wants government to consider a special individual grant for persons with disabilities. We know that the older persons are being supported, that is one, with a, what is called SAGE, a social assistance grant for, for the elderly. That one is good. But what about persons with disabilities? We know that government has been giving grants to them, but what is the target? And does everyone access this grant. This year's commemoration of the International Day for Persons with Disabilities was held in Kuala District under the theme Leadership and Mindset Change as a Tool for Inclusive Development. Edi Olua, UBC News.